Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and today we're looking at a demo of a an upcoming game which is very much right up my proverbial alley. You may recall a little while ago I played a game called Tavern Master which really appealed to me and I really enjoyed playing it. And this is in a very similar vein. It's called Inn Tycoon and it's about creating your very own inn. A quick poke at the description of the game from the developers who are apparently a very small two-person team what they've done in the demo already is quite good they have streamed a uh, playing the full version of the game and it does actually look quite impressive so I don't know how long they've been working on it but good job so far uh, so what we're going to be doing here we're going to be embarking on a journey to the medieval ages a chill and relaxing game where we shape the serenity of a bygone era. With delicious meals and ice cold beverages, we'll increase our reputation with various room options and customised furniture. So our dream inn awaits us to experience the magnificent atmosphere. It's a very small demo. Uh, I've seen the uh, developers, I, I saw a bit of anyway, developers streaming the full game. Uh, they're playing that and it's looking a lot bigger. Now one thing we'll see when we come into the demo is it is small and there are limitations so this should hopefully just be a fairly quick intro to the, the idea of the game and the look and feel of it. So why am I sat here talking about it? Let's have a quick look at it. We'll start off as I like to do with the settings. Now being very much uh, an early game it is due for release in the quarter one 2024 assuming they mean calendar year. That means the end of by the end of March, thereabouts of 2024. Now, I, they haven't mentioned whether it's going to be an early access title, whether they're going to spend some time in early access, or whether they're planning to go for a full release and then sort of update and uh, refresh the game uh, in the following months. Anyway, so we've got a number of languages available to us already. There are apparently a couple of issues with some of the languages. I've not had any playing in English. Uh, so we, we should be f safe from that. Um, it does have an auto save. I assume that is every five minutes. Could be sharing data, possibly just feeding back, you know, sort of play stats and stuff. Uh, I won't, I won't bother with that. Graphics, a nice selection of those. Some good graphics uh, quality, video quality uh, options there. Audio. Yep, just set the volumes. The input. It is mostly. Uh, mouse based so which is how I like to play it uh, or you can use WASD uh, I can't remember if the arrow keys work we might find that out but as you can see there is apparently no option yet anyway for key bindings so those are our settings let's start a new game shall we uh, we need to give our inner name Citadel of Kings <laughs> that's, that's a fabulous name but no Absolutely not. For a proper British tavern, which is not the same as an inn, which isn't quite the same as a pub, and certainly not the same as a bar. No, they're all quite different things. What should we call this? What's a quite common name for, I know, the Red Lion? Actually, no, I don't go to Red Lions very often. Ah, disasters. I've not seen any yet. Well, that could be interesting. Unlock all, unlimited gold. So if you want to play it as a proper tycoony, sorry, as a sandbox game, not not a tycoony kind of thing, then you can, by presumably, by selecting unlock uh, the the all the options and all the gold. We'll turn off tutorials. I, there, it's quite a good tutorial. It takes you through the basics and what you need to do, what you need to put where. Uh, but I I think I understand what's going on, so I'll turn that off. Let's get into it. So here's our tiny little tavern. The space bar is pause key, absolutely right. Uh, we have got edge scrolling, which I'm quite happy with. WASD, uh, the arrow keys, oh, they do work. Uh, or you can use the mouse buttons to run around as well and change your camera angle. Uh, to increase the size of our in here, we can add new rooms. As you can see here in the demo, Oops, the edge scrolling is quite slow, which is okay for me because it usually is quite fast in most games. It's very small, this. Uh, so my first thought when I came in and saw this was, oh, that's a small area. Are we going to get a second floor or a third? Well, are we going to get other floors on, on top of this? Like we have had in um, Tavern Master. 
the the devs have actually responded on on Steam to, to this very question, and their answer is no. At the moment, they're not planning to add additional floors because the actual space you have in the full version will be substantially more than this, which is good. So you've got room in the full version, or you will have room in the full version, to build uh, quite a sizable in with all the facilities that you will require. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we've got at the top here 290 gold coins. We've got a reputation of 400 crowns. I think this half a clock at the top is our sort of opening hour. We have a season. We will get seasonal changes and that will impact on what your customers do and also what your staff do. So you may have to adjust things. I haven't quite worked out how that mechanic works, to be honest, as yet. Uh, we may or may not see that as I go through. Uh, I think we're on currently on level one, so we need to gain experience points. And hopefully the happiness and reputation uh, will, will give us those points. So this is our happiness meter, currently 60%, and our population is 53%. Is that an indication of how many people will come and visit us? There is unfortunately no key binding to change the speed. You have to, if you want to change from single speed to fast speed, thank you. You've got to use the mouse to do that, the click. But the space bar does pause and unpause. Anyway, let's get doing something. We need to build some more space here, I think. So we'll add some extra room to our inn. Unlike Tavern Master, we're not building walls and floors. We are just placing entire tiles down, as you can see there. Uh, we haven't got much decoration available to us in the demo, but that's okay. We're just trying to see how the mechanics work, I suppose. And what we can do here, this is the tavern room, or the drinking room, if you will. Uh, we can build more rooms, or we can, and or we can add tables, which is where customers will sit and eat and drink. And what you get here, you get a full table, of four spaces uh, unless you place it against walls in which case you'll lose some of the chairs as you can see so it's quite a clever little system there it's quite context sensitive so we'll put a table down there that's 50 that's quite nice now to be honest i'm no historian so i'm not sure if this decoration is appro is suitably appropriately medieval obviously got the flaming uh, torches here and some seats at the bar. And what does the bar do? Oh, the bar here. Oh, we can upgrade this. We do have prices. So that's six. Six, six, six. Oh, dear. <laughs> so our wine is six. We've got two barrels there. Uh, the beer price is six. And it takes six seconds, possibly, to serve a drink. And it'll cost us 500 gold to upgrade it to... Uh, nine as our prices and reducing the speed for, for, for pouring down to 5.3. Now, unlike Tavern Master, again, this is something that the devs have commented on in the Steam forum, is they've, they're trying to take out the sort of the, the tedious micromanagement kind of things that was a part of Tavern Master to some extent, such as having to remember to fill up all your bars with drinks and sort of keep your stock supplied. Now, to be fair, the developers of Tavern Master did address that issue in later releases, uh, so that you do have uh, storage and brewery options in Tavern Master, which would auto-fill. Uh, but you got those at the end of a chain of research. Now, I don't know if there's any research in this. I don't think there is. You, you gain access to more facilities by upping your level so it's basically an experience thing so the more you do the more you unlock kind of thing and we can't change the prices of our beers and stuff so there we go so we've got three stools at the uh, the bar we've got a table there uh, let's let's open shall we uh, we ought to have a waitress though otherwise they'll have to sit at the bar and hopefully the bartender will serve them so we're going to hire a waitress there you go. Uh, we run it, uh, let's run at one speed for a moment. Uh, where's my waitress? Oh, there you are. You are just waitress. And you're costing me 15 coin a day. Unfortunately, there's, there's no, they're not individuals. 
I do quite like being able to customise my staff. If not my customers, at least customise my staff. Give them names and things. Again, I don't know if there's any progression or skill uh, tree for the staff. Whether they learn and acquire new talents. We shall see. So our, our happiness has gone right up to ooh, 100%. And our reputation has increased to 404. Now, I did mention just a moment ago that the dev said they're taking out the micromanagement of the game to make it more of a management game rather than a sort of clicker. Click around and get things done. Apart from one thing, which can become a little bit tedious, if I may use that word, when you've got a large and busy tavern, and that is these extra tips that your customers leave. I don't know if they're automatically included in your... Uh, total there. Actually, if I pause this and click that, because this is a sort of an extra tip, I believe, that's left. So that gives me 1.2. Yeah, it added it to that. Yeah, so you don't get that extra money unless you click on it. Why? I don't understand that, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it's different types of guests will give you bigger or different tips, so, so that's something to, to be aware of. These people are all very happy. My reputation's going up like nobody's business. This is good. Uh, I've got 180 coin. Can I afford another table? Oh, let's do that. I'll put you in there. I don't know if that will increase the customers coming in. Oh, I like the light effects. This is all very good. This is, I do like the graphics here. This is most definitely a very attractive game in terms of the graphic and the art style. And the lights change as the as night draws on. This is really nice. Now, the devs did say, as I mentioned, that this is going to be more of an economic tycoon management kind of game. But not in the demo. The only thing we've got in the demo, in terms of the management, is a staff list. Which means hiring and firing. Uh, you can't... It looks like this is a number... So the waitresses all get the same amount of money per day. Okay. So you can hire and fire, and it looks like I didn't. That first waitress cost me forty. Looks like the more waitresses you get, you might have to pay more for them. Uh, okay, so we've only got a staff list there, but you can't do anything really with it apart from add and remove staff. And this, which looks like an econ an economy tab, isn't. It's simply telling you what your current in attributes are, the characteristics which is actually tied to the season. Up here, we mentioned it at the very beginning, this is the season we're in, we're currently in summer, uh, which means our customers eat at 10% faster and our staff move 15% faster. We don't actually have a kitchen serving food, so the eating thing isn't terribly relevant. And that's what you're seeing here. So, in terms of management, the demo shows none of that off. Hopefully we'll see more of that when we get to release of the game. Because that's what this is really all about. Building a pretty inn is all well and good, but we like to have some sort of challenge in terms of managing the thing, uh, not just clicking on piles of coins. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know if you can see it. That one, there's a gold circle going around it. So it looks like, yes, we have leveled up to level two. So I've got 300 gold. I have got an extra staff limit of one and a level point. Ooh, what does that mean? Does that mean... Hang on, let's pause this for a second, because I, I need to stop and think. <laughs> now, the, the level two does unlock our kitchen. Uh, we don't have... I don't see any level options here yet. We may see those as we go through. So we could add a kitchen to our tavern. Can we do that? It's cost 120 to add a kitchen. I've got 519. Yeah, we can do that. We'll put the kitchen here, I think. Uh, we're going to need a counter. You do get... I like that they've got tool tips already, which is really good. So for this, it's dishes that are prepared are placed here. The cook puts, the cook puts food here and the waitress takes them to the customers. And it, can, and it can hold up to three dishes at a time. Now, as far as I can see... There is no sides to this. It must be within the kitchen area, but there's no sort of kitchen staff side and waitress side. Either side will do, so it doesn't matter which way around you turn it. You turn it by right-clicking 
like so. That's good. We'll want some way of preparing food. How about a cauldron to prepare soups? Two soups. And then we'll put you... Uh, right click, turn you around that way, I think. That looks good. Ooh, steamy. And we're going to need to hire a cook. Oh yeah, you can see there, total's gone up from two out of three staff to two out of four staff. If you if you noticed that before, I didn't mention it, I don't think, but there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, 60 to hire a cook, and they cost 30 a day. Ah, uh, yeah, you see the price of hiring does go up the more staff you've got of that type, by the look of it. Okay, so what we can do here, if we need reputation to do something, we can convert our gold to that. Now, there was a reason for doing that. Oh, it's here, isn't it? Yes. We've got two days until summer ends. Uh, we can choose an event, but we need reputation points for that. So we could... Oh, yes. Have a Black Friday. Now, Black Friday here, which lasts two days, means customers uh, move and act faster. But our prices go down by 34%, if you can see that. And that cost me 450 reputation. So I could spend a few gold coins to get that 450. But to be honest, fast customers is one thing. Low prices is, yeah, it's not on. It doesn't say you get more customers. Maybe they move in and out. Maybe they, because they're here for less time, because they're faster, you'll get more throughput. Good question. Don't know the answer to that. <laughs> I'm not going to test it either. And there's no way I can afford these other two events either. So we're going to skip that. And wait for the day to start. So our uh, waiting staff oops, are down here waiting to go in. Looking, looking very sullen actually. Very sulky. <laughs> now we can put bedrooms in. We're going to have to get up to level 4 to do bedrooms. We can add bathrooms, but not in the demo. And there is going to be a cellar option. But again, not included in the demo, unfortunately. We don't appear to have served much food. Of course, what we want to see in this game is a proper economic analysis of where our profits came from, how much profit there was in the food. The, the soup here costs seven. Well, I could upgrade that to get more money. Ah, that will cost me 160. I'll leave that for the moment. We might want to do that because that will give me 10 as opposed to seven per serving. And it won't take him as long to prepare the food either. That could be good. Everyone seems to be very happy. Our happiness is still 100%. Our population is 75%, whatever that means. In the demo, there's not much in terms of decoration you can do in terms of colour and so on. Tax reduction, all salaries down by 30% for two days. Now that cost me 200 gold. Oh, that's interesting. Now if I look, can it, I can't, oh I can open this here. So my total is 65 coin a day, presumably. So 30% of that is going to be around 20. That's quite good, but it's going to cost me 200. Ah, if only I had 750, I'd get fa I could afford famous guests, but my reputation is far off that. No, I'm going to keep this because I want to expand my enterprise here. I'm going to need money for that. No, we won't do that. We'll carry on. We've leveled up to level three. We've got 200 coin. We've got two extra staff we can employ. And I've got two level points. Awesome. Whatever that means. Now, what it does mean, though, is... Oh, I can't unlock the bedroom yet. Oh, oh, oh hang on, hang on. This is the level point. Got it. Right, so I can spend those two level points to unlock the oven to bake bread. I'm assuming the same cook can handle both the oven and the cauldron. Uh, there's nothing there. The bath we don't have. There's nothing near. Oh, 
We could add another bar, but I don't think we need that yet. Our happiness is still perfect. I am going to add... Yeah, I'm going to unlock the bread. Unlock that. That cost me a hundred. Uh, where can we put that? We could put that there. Can I turn it around that way? Yeah. Okay, it's going to be quite hot and steamy behind the chef there, but okay, that's fine. And the bread, it takes 10 and it we price that at 8 as opposed to 7, so it's a little bit more expensive. I wonder if people buy both, because you know you, you often get soup with a, with a roll of some, or some bread product of some nature. I wonder if customers will buy both at the same time as a meal. Oh, so he's, he's cooking both bread and soup. Boy, that, hang, hang on, can, can I, I don't think I can click that, can I? The food itself. No. So what's, it's going to count to, count to get food. That does look just like burnt, but it looks like toast. <laughs> or maybe a German black bread. An acquired taste is that, I think. Uh, possibly not to Germans, particularly, but to our soft English palates. It was quite an acquired taste. That's a soup. What variety of soup it is? I wonder if you can have we can have varieties of soup. I hope we can. A little bit of variety. That's one of the things about games like this. They need variety so you can mix and match and create exactly the environment you want to create. A particular type of tavern or inn or a hotel or a shopping centre or airport or whatever. So you can go up market, down market, you know, average, lowest, you know, whatever sort of customer you want to attract, you can design it like that. Now this I think, yes, summer is going to end at the end of today, so we'll see a change of season shortly. Oh, there we go. So summer has ended, we've now got gentle rains. Also our bed prices are going up, but I don't have a bedroom. Uh, beds will cost less. Uh, customer movement will be slower. Okay, I don't know how long this gentle rain will last. Okay, New Year's Eve. Oh, drink prices go up. Customer sleep speed go up. That cost me 350 reputation points. Or I could spend it on a tournament sponsorship. So all prices go up by 34 and all salaries are also increased. Presumably because there's more work to do in a tournament. Okay, I'm yeah, I'm let's do that. Let's do a New Year's Eve do. There you go. So that will presumably last three days. Right, so we've got gentle rains. As you can see, the weather effect is, is shown here. So this ends in three days. Lovely. Now can I? Oh, we haven't got level four yet. The, the little circle around the three is not quite halfway round yet. 21 out of 60, it says. I think though we can probably afford... Thank you. Another table. So we can get some more guests in. Uh, okay, now let's, let's actually increase our in space. So I'll put a table in there. Now what, at some point clearly our waitress is going to be overloaded with this many potential customers. So we may need to employ another one. Which is always getting quite busy now. Happiness is still 100% which is lovely. Now there may have been an update to the game since I first played this demo just a few days ago. Because uh, I'm not seeing as many tips or coin piles as I did when I first came in to play the game. So maybe that mechanic has been tweaked by the developer. Which is which is nice. I, to be honest, I, I think it's, it's a bit pointless and, and redundant. But that, that's just me. <laughs> well, I'm the guy playing it, aren't I? So, yeah, it's all down to me. You may, your, your mileage, as they say, may vary. The waitress is doing a sterling job here and our level is going up with 38 out of 60. We may not do it today. Do these, these tips. 1.56, 1.6 was it? 
I have seen them go up above two at some point, I, but I might have had a special event or special type of guests coming in to do that. Awesome. Again, it would be nice here to have a summary of the day's trading. You know, the income, the expenses, the profits, all that sort of stuff. That, that's what we really want in a proper management game. Wealthy patrons, that's 150 reputation points. A tip chance is an extra 10% and the tip amount is an extra 33%. I think that's worth 150 reputation points. Do it. Do it now. Done. Oh, good, we've got two events icons up there. Uh, we should get... Yeah, we're 48 out of 60. We should get the bedroom unlock by the end of today. Possibly by midday. Who knows? I don't know if the clothing, the apparel of our guests gives us any clue as to their wealth. Again, just referring back, I mean, to be fair, the dev did say that Tavern Master was part of their sort of inspiration uh, for, for this game. Uh, in, in Tavern Master, you did have different types of guests. Uh, religious guests, monks and nuns coming in, and knights and warriors and wizards. All those sort of people coming in. A few different classes of guests. 2.13. Fabulous. I don't think I've seen that sort of different outfit as yet in, in this demo. Our clock is just... We've leveled up. Awesome. We can have two more stuff. We've got three level points. That is good. So we can now put a bedroom in. Where do we want the bedrooms to go? Possibly along here. Well, oh, 83.7. For the room. Okay. Yeah, we don't really have any room along there. So the bed is going to have to go along here. And they have to adjoin. Do you know what I'm going to do, I think, actually? Is if I put a tavern bar tile here, yeah, and then have the bedroom there. Ah. It needs to be off a tavern room, does it? Okay. I'll just have the one bedroom for the moment. Actually, I could afford another tavern room, can't I? Yeah. If I put you there, and then another bedroom, bedroom room, there. Good. Uh, we need to put beds in these. These are 117 each. Okay. So we'll have. You can go there against the wall. And another one in there. Turn you around like so. That's good. We don't have a cabinet. That's not in the demo. So the one piece of bedroom furniture that we know will be coming is a bedroom cabinet, which we can't get. But there you go. Now we do need... Uh, does it tell us in the tooltip for the bedroom? No. Oh, it does for the bed. It provides a cosy sleep experience, but it does require a housekeeper for the next guest to use, i.e. tidying up and cleaning after the mess the previous guest laid. So we do need made rather than... I don't think guests lay mess, do they? Good question. Uh, so we need 120. I've got to be broke. So we're going to need to hire a housekeeper. And that's it. I can't afford anything else. But at least we've got wealthy guests and this New Year's Eve thing going on. So we should be getting more money. Oh, someone's going to sleep. Excellent. Oh, and they've left a tip already. For a lovely, clean and cosy bedroom experience. Oh, our happiness has dec declined slightly to 89%. Oh, and you're going to bed as well. Well, interesting technique, but there you go. <laughs> there are no more unlocks here, are they, for the level points? Oh, it was just uh, a quick... Oh, he just came in for a couple of hours sleep. Okay. I'm not that suspicious. 
really. Yeah, the slightly spooky thing about this is that the housekeeper will stand at the end of the end of the bed <laughs> until the following day. Yeah. Right, uh, we can't afford any of these. Uh, no, I think even if we spend all our gold and turn all of that into reputation, we won't be able to afford even a tax reduction. A royal visit. Discount frenzy. Only 17% though. No, I, I'm okay with where we are, I think. So we'll leave this as is. Uh, the day will go on. How many? Uh, I'm just wondering how many guests we might get for the for bedrooms during the day. Uh, times have clearly changed. Uh, you don't tend to get guests in modern hotels staying just for a, an afternoon, or turning up sort of mid morning and then leaving by the evening time. Mm, curious. But maybe medieval times were different. Well, this is quite good. We're currently at over 350 gold coin today, having gone down to around 60 or something. So, yeah, our profit margins are clearly quite good. But then we do have these bonuses at the moment for tips and prices, or drinks prices at least. So, uh, we're currently at 293, okay, is our final tally of gold, and 206 reputation. So it's obviously taken the, whatever it is, our salaries, 125? Gosh, these housekeepers are, are expensive. Bath attendants are expensive, and bards. Those will be the musicians that we can put in for presumably festive occasions. Okay, all oh, the season's changing to summer. Well, that's nice. Okay, didn't really expect that, but there you are. Actually, to be fair, in this playthrough, I've had really good weather, relatively speaking. When I played it before, after I first got the demo, and sort of just to see how the game worked, I actually got some really bad weather, snowstorms and everything, and that really did impact on the amount of customers and their uh, propensity to pay really so this this is quite good so this is all really quite dynamic i assume from my limited experience uh, we'll skip all that we can't afford to do anything much to be honest uh, that's fine <coughs> and i think that is where we're going to leave this uh, first look at uh, in tycoon we haven't unlocked anything new. Oh, we could actually upgrade something, couldn't we? We could upgrade the soup. We could upgrade that, the bread oven. We'll upgrade the soup, the cauldron. There you go, which will give us more money. I'm not seeing any visual improvement. So it's just telling me it's two star now. Anyway, that's it. So, I'm looking forward to the release of this and see what features I am missing from the demo. And having spent uh, quite a bit of time in and enjoying Ta Tavern Master, I think I could enjoy this too. It, it, I mean, the whole subject of inns <laughs> appeals to me anyway. Uh, so, if they can do this properly and add in the proper economic, the management options as well, then this could be quite fun could be quite fun indeed so that's it i think we'll leave this here i will say thank you so much for joining me today for this first look at the demo of in tycoon if you've enjoyed this it'd be great to hear from you a little bit of a like would be lovely just click on the old thumbs yuppie button even better if you've got something to say about what i'm doing with the, what i'm doing with the game i can't do that much to be honest but the game itself if you're looking forward to it if you've uh, played the demo or have had access to uh, earlier builds of the game then please do let me know what you think of it and uh, how much you are or maybe are not looking forward to seeing this game released at some point this year yeah just drop that whatever you feel like saying into the comments below if you've not already subscribed to the channel the final thing i want to say then please do just click that subscribe button and perhaps even ting the notification bell and that way you'll know whether if i upload any more in tycoon but certainly when I upload any of my other Let's Play series. So from me, Ajax Post, here looking at In Tycoon for the very first time. Until the next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>